distractions, distractions. Excuse me for a minute. Here we go. The first trader had a question about being stuck really because they've gotten lazy. And I'm going to go and read the question. He says, hey, Akil, thanks for the blog. Um, and I came up with a question for you. Uh, how do you resolve idleness? I mean, every time I open my chart, I'm already lazy at doing technical analysis and then trading. Um, one thing I realize is because I become lazy, um, or I become lazy because I lose a lot. So whenever I open a chart, my mind is already telling me, hey, don't waste your time on this trade because you're going to lose anyway. And this is a very common occurrence for many traders is dealing with the mental struggles, especially as losers build up. And, and I've been there, guys. Trust me, as losers build up, you start feeling like you can't win, that everything you do is wrong, whatever you do. Place, whenever you place a trade in the market, the market's going to do the exact opposite. And, and really, your, your, your confidence is at an all-time low. And if there's anything that you've learned from following me on these blogs or in the live room or, of course, in the training, is that confidence is everything. You, you have to find that fine line of being super confident and believing 100% in yourself and your system, but not becoming so confident that you're overconfident and you believe that you're better than the market. It's, it's a, a very fine line and we, we tend to straddle it each and every day. Um, but I've seen this a lot and it's losing piles up, this trader's in a bad place and it, it often leads to disaster. In this case, the, the trader is scared to enter any type of trade. Now, before we get into really the solution that can help with this problem, it's very important to know that, <clears throat> I should say, it's, it's, it's a big red flag when I hear you say that you've gotten lazy in your technical analysis. Now, I know that if you're trading the right way, you're trading robotic, you know, I come into the market and I do the same routine every day. I wake up at essentially the same time. I do my top-down analysis the same way. I look for the same things on the chart day in and day out, and that's why I've become consistent. However, it could be pretty boring, to be honest, right? We, we come into trading thinking it's like gambling, right? Bright lights and people cheering and lots of action and we want to get involved in the market shooting up this way and shooting down that way and we're catching the move and we're in, we're out, we're adding on, we're taking off and and really it's not like that. I guess, I guess you can make it like that. Uh, those traders typically don't last too long, but it's really kind of you come in and you do your job. It's like, hey, I come into the market, I clock in, do my analysis, all right, that's something that meets my plan, let's put the trade on, okay, that's something that doesn't meet my plan, let's hold out, and it's like, it's boring. Good trading is boring. <laughs> You're consistently executing a plan. There, there's, there's none of that um, excitement factor of new and, and, and crazy happening. Um, but I, I would say this, it, it, the joy that comes out of doing technical analysis is is or I guess the way to avoid being lazy is if you really have a passion for it. Why are you trading? That's a, a really serious question you need to ask yourself. Why are you trading? Are you trading for money, right? If the answer is yes, then it's going to be very easy to get lazy because you're only coming into the market looking for chances to earn profit. I know this sounds weird, but give me a second. I'll explain, right? When you're trading just for money, you, you come into the market, you look at a chart, and you're saying, how can I make money here? How can I make money there? And when, when nothing really provides itself, you get kind of upset. You get disappointed. You're let down, and, and that can sometimes lead to uh, making up trades that aren't really there. I trade for passion, guys, and, and money is the result, meaning that I truly love what I do in these markets, if you can't tell. For me, this is the, the biggest puzzle that I will never figure out. This is the biggest game that I will never completely master. For me, coming into the market and looking at a price chart and deciphering and breaking down what's going on, that is, that is the fun for me. So whether there's a valid trading opportunity or not, meaning whether there's something I can actually put a position on and, and see if I can make profit off of, it doesn't matter. I get my pleasure from just doing the analysis, even if it's something that I can't trade. You guys see this in a live room every day. Even if it's something that I can't get involved in, I just love making the prediction. And, and, and that's what drives me to uh, trade the markets each and every day. Um, I, I say this, if you're going to be a successful trader, most of you are probably going to be crazy, right? Because there was a point in time where you were doing analysis, you were consistently losing money, yet you were coming in each and every day doing analysis again. So you're either very passionate about what you're doing or you're crazy. Um, and again, there's a fine line between that as well. But 
I think if you're going to be a successful trader, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. That's the only thing that's going to get you through these losing periods. Having that passion and having that determination to, to go after it every day, even if you're not bringing in profit right now. Um, it's very, very, very important as far as stopping you from getting lazy, especially in these dog days of summer and July months where everything is boring. Um, but another way to help resolve this issue is find your best trade. Find your best trade, right? I'm a former athlete, so I always like the sports analogies, right? When you're missing a lot of shots in basketball, right? What do you do? You try to get a layup, right? You just want to, you want to see the ball go through the hoop to give you confidence, right? You want to do something, a very, very small correct action to give you confidence, and then you can build on that confidence and get the ball rolling in the right direction. So find your best trade, right? Go to your, go to your back test results if you have them, right? The reason you may be afraid right now and starting to lose belief is because you don't have back testing results. You haven't gone through the pre-trading process correctly, but let's assume you did. Let's assume you went through the pre-trading process correctly. Fire up those back testing results, go through, see what is my best opportunity? What is my go-to trade? And start eliminating everything else you're doing and find that go-to trade. Find your highest probability trade and try to get some very small winners in. And then as you start to build confidence, right, try to push the ball in the right direction and, and let that snowball effect um, occur until you're at a very, very confident level. Because again, confidence is everything, right? The market acts in a, in a triangle, right? Belief, right? Actions, results. Belief, actions, results. Say it with me. Belief, actions, results. The more belief you have in yourself and in your trading strategy, the more likely you are to take the right actions. The more uh, times you take the right actions, the more likely you are to see the right results. And what happens when you see the right results? You get more confident and you start believing yourself again. And that just, the triangle goes over and over again. And that's kind of the, the cycle you want to be on. Um, so that's my advice for this trader. The second trader, give me a second guys. Just had a nice little workout in about 90 degree weather. It's burning out there, but I'm dropping pounds, which is my goal. The second trader um, really had a question. I don't remember what it was exactly, but they had a question about being stuck, I guess plateauing. And, and I, I do this with uh, sports all the times where you may coach someone, you see a lot of improvements at the beginning because at the beginning you don't really know anything as a trader, right? You're, you're probably so bad that any type of improvement takes you from here to here right away. So at the beginning stages of your trading, it's very easy to see a lot of progression really, really, really quick. However, the better you get at something, the closer you get to that ceiling and you start to tail off a little bit and either you make very, very minimal steps in the right direction, which is still good, or you feel like you've just plateaued, meaning you're just, you're level. You're not really getting any better. You're not really getting any worse. And and that's what this trader was talking about. This trader said, hey, Akil, you know, I, I, I'm i okay with winning, but I seem to give just as much of it back. And I think that's a phase that all of us go through. Um, in fact, if you haven't seen it, look under my YouTube channel here, go under, I think it's the playlist called My Best Stuff. Look for a video called The Four Stages of Trading. It, it explains the four stages of trading uh, or the four stages that each trader goes through, right? The whole unconscious incompetence, confident, uh, conscious incompetence, all that fun stuff. Um, but what what is most likely the issue if you've plateaued, it means that you're very, very, very close to success because if you weren't, um, you would have failed and lost all your money by now. Um, you would have slowly bled out and died, right? But the, the fact that you can maintain maybe minimal profitability or just even break even shows us that you're doing something right. So what that means is there's probably a few little things that need to be fixed. There's only a few little things, uh, aspects of your trading that need to be fixed in order for you to find success and, and you have to go about finding that. I got a fantastic email this morning from a former pro trader client. So this, this isn't somebody I teach. I'm actually a, a, a pro trader client myself. This guy was from 2015, I think. I was a 2009 graduate, 2008 graduate, seven, I don't, somewhere around there. I was a graduate at one point, um, but the trader reached out. He said after some, some difficulties in life, he got back on the ball of trading, but things weren't going the way he wanted to. He kind of plateaued and wasn't seeing the results that he wanted. And 
to this trader's, uh, you know, to uh, this trader did the right thing. And, and no doubt he was a former client of ours. He went back and he did a full evaluation of his trading, meaning a full evaluation of his back testing results, a full uh, evaluation of his live trading. And he was able to find and identify each and everything he was doing wrong. It was fantastic. I'm reading through the email like, what do you need me for, right? You've already identified what you're doing wrong. And again, that's something we teach you is to identify, you know, how to find those flaws in your trading. And this trader reached out to me and said, hey, Keo, I, I just need some psychological words of wisdom. I just need some encouragement. I just need some empowerment. I just need you to tell me something. Of course, you know, go over what I went over and, and, and make sure I'm on the right track, but tell me something to get the ball rolling. And that's, that's you know, it, it, it's, it's brilliant. It's, I, I applauded this trader. I said, look, you, you've identified everything correctly. I gave him some tips on how to go about minimizing his mistakes and, and getting the ball rolling and getting on the right track. But aside from that, the trader did, already did all the hard work, right? He, 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 he understands where his flaws are at. He understands what's hurting his trading. Now, the next step, and I would say it's the, the I don't want to call it, it's the easier step. It's not easy, but now it's implementing that strategy and, and being able to start eliminating those mistakes and, and, and putting bandages around those errors and, and, and start um, unsabotaging yourself, I guess you can say. So that's my advice. If you're stuck, if you've plateaued, you got to do a full evaluation. Um, find out what's hurting your trading and then go about finding a solution to fix it. Oh.